Hey everybody, hope you're doing well. Look on the screen. Another sad story. Uh, welcome to the BC. If you are degenerate, you're going to be okay. But if you are a family man, you're trying to build your business owner, you have a very good chance of getting robbed and also getting killed. Check this video out. This is going to be part A, rest in peace. Then please stick around for part B, which will be a separate video for the commentary. Good evening and thank you for joining us at 10. I'm Keith Garvin. And I'm Daniela Guzman. New at 10 o'clock, a father, a husband, a small business owner is dead <sighs> after being gunned down at the liquor store and a tobacco store he owned in East Houston. Tonight, his family is desperately hoping somebody will recognize the suspects and help them find justice. KPRC 2's Bryce Newberry is live at HPD headquarters tonight as the search for his killers just entered its second month. Bryce. Second month. Two very long and difficult months for this family, Keith and Daniela, his widow telling me that she has not been able to sleep at night, not knowing who killed her husband. It happened about two weeks before Christmas, and tonight she's convinced the suspects may have targeted their business before. 36-year-old Marcus Roberson was a family man dedicated to his 4- and 13-year-old children, his family says, married to Sierra, still wearing the ring he put on her finger five years ago. We had the last 16 years of our life together. My business partner, my traveling buddy, um, my best friend. For the last three years, they owned Grizzly's Liquor and Tobacco on Mesa Drive in East Houston, now up for lease, after it became the scene of his murder early in the morning, December 6th. It's hard to really, like, picture life without him or just think about moving forward. Houston police say officers responded to a robbery call at the business, finding Marcus, also known as Bear, with multiple gunshot wounds dead at the scene. <sighs> Surveillance video shows a newer white Chevrolet Malibu circling the business in the minutes leading up to the robbery. Then two men with masks, hoodies, and a backpack walk to the front door and use a tool to get inside. He met them at the front of the shop and it looked like it was a tussle from what we could see. Seconds later, they're seen running from the shop, jumping back in the Malibu and speeding away. They say parents are supposed to die before their children and to see a son die before you die <sighs> it, it's, it's heartbreaking the place had been broken into several times before sierra says this time the only difference that her husband was there working late and you think that the people who had been robbing it are possibly connected to the people who came back in december uh, yeah, definitely. Whoever they are, she wants them in jail to pay for the destruction they've caused. It's hard to sleep, not knowing, you know, that they're still out there and that they did this to him. We lost a huge part of our heart, our life, you know, so nothing can bring him back. And tonight, Houston police confirming they are still searching for these suspects, asking for any tips. You can also report any information to Crime Stoppers anonymously. That organization offering a reward of up to $5,000 for information that leads to an arrest or charges. Okay, buddy, you saw part A. Stick around for part B, the commentary.